Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review of the new Audi A4 facelift. Of course, I'm in Audi. I'm gonna check out the old Audi, old, and the new version. Uh, what's new? High full spec model and a some uh, what base model. Uh, I have a key, so let's jump into the review. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have here a key of the new Audi A4 facelift. So. This is the new key, as you can see, we have a beautiful design. Audi has put a lot of detail into this key. It's light, it's not too heavy, but then it has a little bit of weight to it. So uh, definitely you can see here uh, textures for the lock and the unlock button. You can press twice to open the uh, trunk space. Then you have Audi on the bottom. Uh, really nice attention to details. I wouldn't expect less from Audi. So if we unlock the car, have so those uh, sequential uh, blinkers, and then you have the new beautiful LED lights. Before I switch to the new one, there is a old one here. We're gonna take a look uh, later, uh, comparison, small, quick look, but for now we're gonna focus on the new. So if I double tap here, we can open the trunk space. As you can see here, uh, big area. Uh, a lot hasn't changed, but now the Audi has 460 liters, the A4 facelift. So uh, plenty of space. There is a big uh, gap over here. Uh, it's wide, so I shouldn't be putting a uh, problem putting any cargo inside. Now what's nice, new detail, you have this grocery uh, hook that slowly comes back. Uh, you have here a little net space. It's a little bit dark. Uh, uh, there is a 12 volt charger here as you might see a uh, little net here this is your extra net if you want to use this for tether points and then we have a uh, another bag here this is maybe uh, for the uh, first aid uh, if we open the trunk you can see a smaller spare wheel spare wheel size on the bottom um, and there's definitely a four maybe uh, seven eight fingers of height here so it's not flat now something that i want to show you there's only one led light uh, on this model for the trunk space it looks like there should be another here in this gap but it, there isn't not sure why i think maybe there should be another one this is maybe just personally i don't think enough but it's a good thing that's a led not a halogen bulb now you can knock down seats if I'm not mistaken, uh, 40, 60. You can knock down the middle part if you have skis or golf clubs or any other longer object you need to transport. Um, so on the top, you have a triangle. Uh, this is still manual closing. This is all nice hidden. There is no metal parts sticking out. And on the top, we have LED lights. Uh, this car doesn't have the camera. This is the 35 TDI. This is the uh, 163 horsepower uh, diesel version, if I'm not mistaken. Now we have a, a black package as well. So uh, we have a blacked out detail here. And uh, as you can see, that is the, uh, not the uh, uh, basic, this is the advanced package. So you have that chrome line on the back connecting the lights. This one doesn't have that and you can see on the bottom as well uh, this one doesn't have so this one has the black optic package i'm sorry for a little shake my gimbal is playing with me so on this model you have uh, tinted windows that one doesn't have those so that's if i'm not mistaken 17 inch alloy wheels these are beautiful um uh, 19 inch wheels there's a wall here so uh, i can get closer to them i'm gonna walk around the car uh, just trying to put the car into perspective and if we unlock the car again uh, beautiful led lights uh, just amazing how much detail is in this beautiful led lights uh, this is just firstly one of the reasons why audi is one of my favorite brands uh, just beautiful aesthetics uh, sharp uh, and curvy design and you can see those wheels uh, these are the audi sport uh, this particularly came on the Hancock tires, uh, Ventus S1 Evo Square. Now it's beautiful, you can see those uh, LED lights on the door hooks, under the door hooks, actually on, uh, illuminating below, and we have this skirt. This is the S-Line uh, badge, so this one has the 
uh, surrounding black uh, maybe night optics. There's a lot of cars I film, so I kind of start mixing the names. Uh, black out mirror. Of course, if I press on the unlock, you can see the blinkers and S line uh, badge over here. And again, wheels. And then we have this beautiful uh, front. Now, personally, I like the new uh, design. I believe these are LED lights. I'm not sure if they're matrix. I do have a video uh, from the Frankfurt Auto Show where there was fully spec cars, so you can check that out. I'm gonna put the link on the top. And then we have this chrome detail. Uh, excuse me, uh, on the S-Line standard, this is chrome. This is blacked out as well as the uh, surrounding basil uh, around the grill and bottom uh, diffuser, front diffuser. Uh, this is the advanced model. Just for a comparison, it has a chrome uh, and uh, horizontal lines through. Uh, in chrome, the base doesn't have it in chrome, and this is more honeycomb, the S-Line package. Now, of course, you have some of the radars on the bottom for uh, aids. You have LED lights over here, uh, and on the bottom, it's just, this is just a reflection. But if I press, you can see when it's off. If I press again, you can see those uh, turn signals. Now, um, let's move forward. Uh, this is just a mask, this underneath the bonnet uh, plastic cover. Now on the top we have uh, rain sensors, uh, camera, lane assist and everything. And let's jump into the car without further uh, ado. Now I just wanna show you how good this closing sound is. Now I'm in a big space. There's just a little bit maybe of echo but closing sound is perfect if you ask me now beautiful uh, materials a lot of hasn't changed now i'm gonna leave these keys uh over here for now you get two of them now we have a beautiful interior uh sharp design uh, everything is on its place have ambient lights that can change colors unlock lock chrome uh on door handles for unlocking this is all stiffed even where there's plastic like on the inside this is leather on the outside that's soft as well it's all robust and stiff now we can see here you can lock uh, windows and door locks individually for each uh, rear door of course all windows are electric you have uh, heated windows on this model for some reason maybe it's the early uh, production model doesn't have electric folding mirrors but i'm sure it's going to be an option you can pop the trunk uh, from the driver's position in this case only basic speakers you can order bowing and offset i would definitely recommend those we have illuminated uh, s line aluminium doorstep which is a uh, pretty nice detail and then we have in this model uh, manual seats so this is for up and down uh, they're partial leather, partial textile. That is really nice. I think come closer. Uh, really nice uh, detail stitching, everything. Uh, and then, of course, you have the S uh, stitching. It's winter time, so it's kind of uh, sunset. I mean, there is no sun because it's cloudy. So this, for example, this pulls up the knee area. Of course, you can extend it. So uh, that's new, of course, as part of the S line, you get sport paddles. And this particular model has a black roof, as you can see that in the distance, it has white. Now, I'm gonna sit in the front this time, and then I'm gonna check the back later. So, if I set my place inside, you have beautiful soft leather. This is artificial leather or vegan. Um, you have perforated leather on the side, flat bottom with the S-Line badge. Now let's close these doors. Remember the window is open. This is a little bit too hard maybe, but you don't need too much force to close this. Now I like this new details you can see on this side mirror there. Of course you have your hazards and your blind spot as you can see. Now inside we are greeted with this beautiful, I believe now standard virtual cockpit. High graphics, high resolution. HD, just outstanding. And then we have this new 10 inch screen MMI. Now I know some of you are going to criticize it because there is no more controls, the wheel on the bottom in this area used to be. 
now you just have a compartment but before we turn everything on just want to show you the uh looks kind of looks all familiar not too many changes but there are small changes there are piano uh, black finish here now comparing it to the older model the ac is uh, still manual still has that good clicky sound a uh, high quality aluminium brushed uh details on the bottom you have drive select but it's kind of getting dark so i'm going to turn on the uh, uh connection uh to the power the engine is not on so uh, we're gonna start as a guest you can uh turn on the uh you can turn on the profile you can set your profile of course and this is the beautiful interior when the lights are on you can see the led lights over there and i'm just going to focus for the moment on the led lights you can see in the reflection and if i turn them off uh the daytime running lights uh, turn brighter i'm sure the rear do as well the same now you can turn the automatic lights it's kind of day uh, almost night so uh, i think this is night mode and then you have only uh as you can see over here uh daytime running these are night now you can always leave it uh, my suggestion is just leave it on the mat on on automatic excuse me and then uh, i'm just gonna come back to the lights if you press here i'm gonna open the door so you can have more light now there's a, this little guy that you can uh, increase the brightness of your uh, buttons and all those stuff like ac commands now over here you have rear fogs and front fogs so i'm gonna close the doors once again uh so the fog light is integrated as you can see small change uh in that uh shut off area right there again off on uh, these are led lights you really can't see the difference they're integrated integrated into the main lights now what's also beautiful is this design you have speakers main speaker in the middle uh, a few speakers in the doors but everything is nicely illuminated especially this uh, sharp design of the ambient lights uh, they're also as well now over here as you can see uh, uh, both continue on the back uh, rear seats as well now uh, illumination is even on the steering wheel all the buttons are white uh, except uh, the light switches and those beautiful ac switches so now we have three zone climate control if we come uh, closer here you have the screen now this uh, shows you the temperature and then you can press uh, for automatic uh, for rear max you have heated seats uh, these are in red color and uh, those are all the options of course uh, you can synchronize uh, these over here you can uh, control the uh, fan speed you can have seat rear controls for the rear three zone or you can science everything so if this is like 19 you can just go to science and i think honestly i'm not yeah just leave it and it's going to science everything so you just leave it and over here you can control in which direction you want the air blow uh let's i'm gonna leave it like this not to blow into the microphone of the camera and before we continue to the new MMI and the digital cockpit, I just want to uh, focus on the below. You have so drive select, up and down. You have auto off, uh, you know, assistance like ESP, AC, or uh, whatever the name is. Uh, and just controls, stabilization, you can turn it off. Parking sensors, and you can press here to turn off the MMI screen on the top. Uh, start stop button is still here. And then we have a USB A. It's a little bit dark and then we have a 12 volt charger that illuminates and we have beautiful cup holders there now you can change colors uh, uh same as in the doors and the gimbal's playing with me apologies but kind of perfectly fell down you can see the piano black finish this is a little area now if i turn on the lights uh we can illuminate this a little bit better so you can see uh the finish inside USB A as mentioned, mobile charger, start stop engine. And then we have here our seven speed, uh, seven speed, excuse me, uh, Astronic. Uh, it's kind of easy. Press here, 
a park here press to move the lever reverse neutral uh, drive a sport uh, you can push it to the side for a manual and then you can use these sport paddles uh, as you can see here they're plastic but they're illuminated so that's a nice new detail so uh, over here same small space uh, MMI for the volume I'm gonna come back to that later you can uh, push to the sides to change like stations you can press to uh, kill the radio uh, or just turn off the MMI as well and uh, we have auto hole and parking brake electronic parking brake of course beautiful aluminium finish uh, personally I would want this and something else at least matte it looks nice piano uh, black but it's just uh, gets easily scratched but everything is nicely laid out still Audi A4 and then uh, armrest that can extend it has levels you can open it up fully we have this rubber mat again you can see the key now uh, in the light the design so uh, you can put your key here I guess wireless place and then you have this USB-C so you have USB-C and USB-A that's really nice Audi was smart enough to keep both of those uh, in the transition area uh, glove compartment uh, you can see beautiful carpeting you have here for your coins maybe for your pen or business cards you get a little Audi book uh, with your manuals uh, no CD DVD player anymore I uh, don't even see the SD card uh, inside is a halogen uh, bulb so maybe I don't know do you think this should be LED light tell me in the comments below now these seats are just uh, amazing uh, they're comfortable they have the side bolsters uh it's really high quality made uh nothing else to say about that now on the top we have speaker we have led lights that turn on or off uh, if you want lights you can turn them on if the door is open or uh, you can hear call for assistance and you can call for emergency call if you need uh, assistance on the road in any uh case so of course you have these uh, LED lights not this one uh, there's a small lights here that illuminate when the car uh, engine is on uh, this area as well now you have a thin uh, thin baseless uh, mirror it's really nice gives you good visibility and when talk about visibility there's a good uh, here there's this is kind of there's a small window so you, the, the blind spot is good it, there's not uh, it's not a problem and of course you have those led lights on the back i'm gonna come to the back later but uh, visibility in this car is good uh, everything around you so i wouldn't uh, say anything is a problem and just not to forget we have here a privacy mirror and the led light on the top this can move uh doesn't extend i wish it could do that or if it had a secondary uh sun uh blind that you can uh you know put out uh, so let's focus on the uh, steering wheel a little bit so this is all classic you have your favorites here volume up and down uh, for calls and on the other side we have menus for the MMI and uh, view uh, menus and then you have this roller uh, that I like so we, we can focus on the uh, virtual cockpit and then we're gonna switch to the MMI so uh, this, if there's a few layouts, so I'm going to show you. Uh, in the middle, you can see uh, consumption. Now, these consumption is really high because the cars are just turned on to repark in the salon and they're stationary. So, uh, consumption goes really high. This is not realistic. Just have that in mind. You can here go to the menus on the top. Uh, if you had your phone connected, you would see that. And navigation is not activated at the moment because this car isn't sold. So that's pretty much it. Now I would like to test the speakers for you. These are the bass speakers. You can press here to mute. Now, those speakers are good. I would upgrade definitely to Bang the Offsen if uh, I had the money, uh, the resources, uh, because it's a lot better speaker. Uh, you have extra speakers and you get the amplifier. So that's my recommendation. 
Um, okay, so you can press here to change the view. So you can have this uh, again. Then you have the car avatar. Uh, this is kind of the same menus. And please refuel a little bit different avatar, a longer um, uh, radio stations. And of course, if you would have navigation, these these are, would be small two bubbles, and then you would have a bigger uh, view. Graphics is crispy. It's not even flickering on the screen like in the Q3. So this is a more expensive screen, uh, has a better refresh rate. Now, um, now, let me see here to show you the display and brightness. I'm going to fully cover the cockpit, but just want to show you. So now we have virtual cockpit. It's on classic. You can put it on sport. Yes, change now. And you can see now we have sport uh, dials. So this is kind of red. Uh, that's the only change as far as I can see. And then we have this dynamic. And uh, this is different. Now you have the uh, speed on your right and then the uh, gears or the revs on the um, left side. So that's a nice. Then, of course, you can change this. Um, I wish the navigation was active, uh, that I can show you this, but uh, that's it. Now, uh, the MMI has this click sound. It can be higher or lower, or you can just turn it off. Um, I'm gonna leave it on because on low, so you can uh, see when I'm pressing something. So uh, there is also a heads up display that's available. It's an option. This car doesn't have it, of course, the panel roof, I mean, the, above the driver. And now uh, let's show you the 10 inch screen MMI. So it's a touch screen. Um, there is no more uh, the little roller. So you have users, you can configure multiple users if you have family, if you're sharing this car. Uh, you can get messages if you connect it to your phone. Uh, navigation is not activated. It's beautiful. It's crispy graphics, colorful, brightful. It's just a shame that it's not op available here. You can see on the uh, Frankfurt Auto Show. We're on the top of the screen, you can pull down. You have Setup Wizard or other information. Here, your Wi-Fi, uh, your users. You can connect your phone. You have a Wi-Fi hotspot. You have LTE. And the graphics is uh, just sharp. It's really nice. So you have home, you have radio, you have uh, music, navigation, and media. So in this case, if you go here as well, it's loading, I'm gonna mute it. You have stations, uh, you can use the roller on the, actually, nope. Um, so you can, you know, use your fingers, really respond to fast. Uh, I'm sure the DAP radio, digital radio is an option. If we go here, you can have, uh, you can connect a CarPlay or uh, Android Auto, or possibly Mirrorlink if I'm not mistaken. And then you have phone here if you want to connect your phone, pair it with via Bluetooth. Um, help information, there's probably some setup wizard tips. In that case, uh, there are two pages. And then you have here, uh, let's go to car settings first. So you have drive select. So if you press uh, the drive select on the bottom, you can see it goes, you can use that. It's handy or you can use this touch screen. Uh, so you have efficient, comfort, automatic, and dynamic, which is uh, sport. Or you can uh, configure it uh, individual. So you can have driver, driving system, let's say, um, you know, maybe you can leave it on balance, but you want steering to be more uh, dynamic sporty uh, let's say so it's kind of compromised between dynamic and automatic uh, beautiful crispy graphics and avatars uh, you have drive assistance here uh, speed warning like I you know you can put up like in Croatia we can drive on the, the 130 is the limit but with some tolerances you can uh, drive 150 without problem and without getting a speeding ticket uh, you have uh, reset rest, excuse me, uh, recommendation, which will uh, monitor your driving uh, and then tell you to take a break. Uh, always take breaks, don't drive too long. Uh, don't get tired and, you know, um, get yourself killed. Steering wheel buttons, you can uh, pre-configure uh, in the uh, asterisk on the steering wheel uh, for your favorites. So 
traffic program on oh, switch between radio and media that's nice uh service intervals central locking car information okay a little interruption here my i guess my um phone i went out of storage i forgot to delete, delete some uh, deleted videos in the deleted file anyway continuing on uh so you have here oil pressure um and other information uh, you can set wipers if you need to change them uh tire pressure information and uh, uh those kind of stuff and then you have uh, actually i was here uh you have uh, light and vision exterior lights Automatic headlights, you should always just leave them on that. Background lighting, rain sensors for the wipers, AC controls, uh, outdoor circulation, automatic supplementary, supplementary heater, uh, efficiency assist. I guess you can get some tips about uh, economic driving, and uh, all of this I have covered. And if you come home, we have here car settings. We have here general information about date and time, measure units. In Europe, so we use kilometers per hour instead of miles. Uh, and some stuff like that. So, uh, system maintenance, uh, software updates, um, still via USB. Um, I wish this would get a uh, Wi-Fi update. So you don't need to visit the salons. But now it's interesting, you can use your mobile phone to unlock your car. Uh, there's Amazon, uh, Google Maps, and other uh, features that are just missing here because we don't have the navigation. Uh, but you can uh, set up a user, as you can see, and uh, it's really interesting. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff that Audi A4 now has. Um, on Wi-Fi hotspot, you can activate it. I'm not sure if you need a a sim card or it's just active so and i'm actually i'm just going to turn it off not to drain the battery um actually it's on now uh let's forget that it's gonna it's good uh and because we're gonna finish soon so connect settings uh bluetooth or wi-fi actually we're gonna just turn it off here and sound so Let's just turn it on. Gotta mute it here. So oh, when it's muted, it doesn't allow me to. You can play with those settings. Base speakers are good, but Bang and Olsen are better. Message privacy, notifications, contacts, uh, navigation, and media here, phone. Everything is here. Uh, once you configure it, uh, you can. Uh, change the language here these are the all the languages so i'm just going to start from the top and pause if you want to see if your language is here it's possible that you know it's not doesn't have all the languages in the world but you know these are the languages and to wrap this up uh, the mmi i show you the uh display brightness and uh, just what i wanted to show you is i wanted to show you the uh the uh, colors for the uh, interior, which are, um, if I'm not mistaken, not here. They should be in the, if we go home, uh, car, and then we go to light and vision and background light. Uh, so over here now you can control the uh, brightness as you can see, like watch the side. So this is a full brightness and uh, you have, this is the contour, so it's kind of white, you have this vision, it's kind of yellow or orange, uh, vision, so solar, this is more orange, impulsive, this is Audi red, maybe more, more time, kind of bluish, I don't know just why did Audi made this, uh, to uh, their names or just couldn't leave it on and then we have according to drive select or individual um, I wish there was maybe more colors but you know this is fine I'm gonna leave it on maybe I don't know I'm just gonna leave it I think on I thought it was red but yeah so the cup holders everything changed now let me just you know again uh, beautiful 
uh, inside. Now, before I turn off, uh, again, when it's a little darker, you can see those lights on the back. Now the car's gonna keep beeping, or maybe not. Um, you can see the illumination on the bottom. And just to uh, get into the back, uh, same quality materials. Uh, and now it's a little bit dark, so I'm going to turn on the LEDs on the top so you can see the seats, uh, they go down uh, inside. And uh, of course you have the uh, illumination on the bottom uh, below the seat. So as you can see here, we have net. This is um, leather covered, so this, plastic but coming with leather uh, there's plenty of space i was sitting on the front now let's hear that closing sound really good and beautiful led lights on the back this is just one look of the interior on the front uh, beautiful illumination and uh, on the back we have ac controls you have temperature here uh 12 volt charger and two usb a chargers for charging your phone um and mobile phone of course and then uh, we have this cup holders that extend two of them, actually. actually. Let's just turn both of these so you can see the interior more. It's because it's really getting dark in the salon. And then you have this, maybe for some paperwork, small, uh, shallow compartment. And then uh, the uh, this area. This is leather. This is... Uh, uh, cloth and you know it's a nice big window spacious now it's a little bit dark you can't see the contours um two meters tall 6.6 .6. uh definitely it's a little bit small for me i probably fit better in the a6 but like this uh, average person should be fine but i'm a little bit taller than the average person so uh it's not enough for me but you know personally i think should be fine no um you have child locks uh for the child seat if you are wondering and just uh, let me exit again so if you want to knock down the seat this model doesn't have the back uh you know option to knock them down so you can see how the seats look when they're down there's uh plenty of storage space there is let me show you again there is here a seat uh, it's a little dark you can't see it but there is uh, also a uh, connecting point for the child seat I'm just gonna turn these off as you can see the illumination on the bottom and over here yeah now it's a little bit darker even in this part of the salon because the lights I purposely left uh, asked them to left them off you can see the if the car was in dark can see those uh, LED illuminations uh, and let's just get into front of the car and then we're just gonna wrap it up uh, here so this is the reflection in the window but these are the LED lights and quick tour of the old Audi no When you turn it off, get this uh, goodbye. And yeah, this all turns white. Do not forget your key, they're wireless. And then when, if we lock the car, I'm just gonna press unlock so you can see the LED lights. If you lock it, the leaving home, function is going to turn after uh, 10 seconds or 15 or 5 depending on what you spec now this is another model this is the advanced so i'm just going to back up here because i have space for you guys to fit it in the frame this is the base model looks nice a little bit different bumper and the led lights are the same i don't have the key for this model but you can see them there's also in the B-roll is going to be separated another. Uh, so before we compare it to the old Audi, I mean old A4, uh, pre-facelift model, I'm just going to show you this one. Um, so a little light inside. These are the cloth seats. As you can see, this is fully cloth. 
uh, they do have this uh, side bolsters so they're really good quality made seats despite that there are not actually I can turn the lights on this one as well and just a quick look standard steering wheel steering wheel without the s badge this is in croatian um but yeah same layout just cloth seats and that's it and of course you have cloth uh, in uh, the doors as well uh black i mean white uh, roof liner Okay, so just a quick look, comparison, this is the old model, personally, uh, I didn't like the tip uh, on this one, they, it does have LED lights and everything, just, I think it's personally better. Now, just gonna walk to the back of the car to show you LED lights, so a little bit different LED lights, but, sorry for the shaking, you can see pre-facelift and facelift on the front, uh, kind of similar but uh, connecting chrome, different LED lights, uh, similar exhaust. No, uh, this one has only the left one, other ones, the right one's fake, it's same on the facelift. I think the space is the same, but just to show you, this one also has the S-Line package. So what's actually different is, to wrap this up, as you can see, small screen. These were the controls. Now you have that little compartment there. AC same. Everything is actually the same. You have a piano finish here. Even the steering wheel is the same. Actually, this is the latest model, so it has the flat on the side as well uh, with the bottom. And this is the uh, manual gauge cluster with the screen in the middle. And uh, I'm not sure do you get this in the new models. This was a nice detail. Uh, I wouldn't personally smoke in the car, but it could be a little trash bean uh, if you're not a smoker. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same. Besides, uh, the 12 volt charger is not here. There's only one on under the uh, buttons. And the last detail is the AC. So yeah, you have a digital instrument, more USB chargers on the back for the modern age of uh, smartphones. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's the new A4. That was in-depth look once more. I'll unlock it, it looks beautiful. I think I'm gonna film some more B-roll in this dark. This is when you lock it. Okay, not to forget, I'm gonna cut this in, I almost forgot, but yeah, I always think about the details, so pop the trunk so some of you might be interested not someone some people won't be interested but let's open the hood and it's always to the left so push to the left and voila now I'm a little blocked by the uh, Try to put it into perspective. There's a glass behind me, glass wall. So this is the new uh, four cylinder, to, to four cylinder turbocharged. So Audi badge. Uh, I guess this is new. We'll cover for the fuel, and uh, that's it. Oh, there, there you have it. Of course, you have dampeners. So once again, in the light, the new color. Um, tell me in the comments what do you think about the new A4 facelift. If you like this video, please give it a massive like. Uh, leave your comments below. What do you think about the new A4 facelift? And if you want to see more in-depth car reviews, Make sure to subscribe to my channel and then in that case click the little bell to get information or notifications when i upload a new video as always i want you to drive safe uh to and stay safe on the road and before i leave i want a massive shout out and big thanks to audi here in zagreb I just want to show you all the cars they have so just a quick look they have a beautiful salon there's a nice uh 
RS3. This is also a facelift, A4, beautiful gray, S-line. I'm gonna film the new uh, SQ3. There's two of them, um, ha uh, Sportback. But thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one, bye.